Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Hey. <clears throat> first, first and foremost, I'm going to turn to the east and give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144, hopefully elect of Israel, who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goes. Hey, yeah, Shalom. Okay, so look, this, uh, hopefully this won't be too long. We're just gonna uh, bring it out. Um, hey, I gotta thank Yahweh Shimei Al Shai for uh, you know not casting me away and also um, you know keeping me you know take, not taking the Holy Spirit off of me because uh, like the brother brought up. Uh, the other day or was it yesterday last night and I haven't heard it in a long time man if you wake up and you still have the understanding count your blessings man be thankful to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai because this is we have to fight for this truth man this is not this is not no easy road okay and with that that's why I'm making this epistle called do you really believe do you really believe now I'm gonna uh, the spirit was on me somehow you know how the Lord directs your footsteps so uh, today, I was, you know, messing around. And I said, let me check out one of my old videos for some, some, some strange reason. So I found that this one called the new song back in, uh, so it was in July, 2019. Now, uh, I've only been out there on the highways, I think, you know, right after January, um, so, of 2019. So, you know, I'm just a babe. Uh, so it was nice to see that video and it was also nice to see that the truth You know, it's the, the truth is hundred percent true. There's only one what there's only one way so What I was teaching back then is the same thing. I'm teaching now. I might have a little bit more Understanding of it, but it's exactly it's pretty much the same same thing it, It's you know because it is the hundred percent truth and that is um, Without talking too much. All right, so that's why I, I named this one. Do you really believe? And also I'm going to use just a snippet of that video, right? Because at the beginning of the video, in my intro, uh, I'm just going to show, I'm only going to show like uh, two two minutes of this this video if I can, you know, if, if that. So at the beginning of the video, uh, you know, I made the introduction and everything. And uh, then there was this dude there There's no longer around here. He's gone, man. The Lord got that dude away from here. But anyway... I said this is my elder and I was talking about that dude because I was just a babe then in the truth I didn't know no better but there was the only guy around that I knew that knew uh, that we were the Israelites indeed you know that right there says a lot because at the time I called him my elder but later on that night the Lord uh, showed it that he actually became a scoffer why and I understood it. I, I I think I even understood it then at that time because uh, if he's my elder, I would have learned that I was his right from his ass. Okay, because what he'd be doing, he'd be teaching the word. Now that's gonna go into uh, <clears throat> so just because of that, those there's a two quick video. This is me saying he's he's an elder. Uh, he's my elder, blah blah blah. Because you know, but then I started finding myself that I was. Uh, bickering with this man on the scriptures about you know this and that and that's what this epistle is all about do you really believe because there's only one way all right so uh like uh like i said i should have learned that i was in it uh if he's my elder i should have learned that that uh that i was an Israelite from him he should have been out there preaching the word not me right and then i would come on under his under his tutelage right of course but no thanks to the elder and apostle of great millstone that we give double honors to because they've been out here teaching the word and because of them we have other elders that come down and all the brothers that fall on that, that uh, umbrella you know what I'm saying through the power of Yahweh Hashim Al Shai blowing the spirit up in uh, up in the uh, one west way back in the day and it's trickling down to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and now we have Great Millstone all over the place which uh, also goes into prophecy of uh, one of uh, this word being preached throughout the four corners of the earth then will the end come there's, a, there's people in Great Great Millstone in Peru, my man. Great Millstone, Australia. Great Millstone, England. Okay? I'm down here in the Virgin Islands. You know what I'm talking about? Because it's 100% truth, man. So, 
do you believe? Because if you, if you do believe this and you're on online somewhere teaching that you are an Israelite, but you're not on the highways and hedges, you're going off. If you got a church somewhere, talking about you as an Israelite, you're going off because you're still trying to incorporate that Christ Christianity stuff. Because we're not looking, the Lord said He's not coming back for all Israel. Okay, we're only looking for the 144, hopefully, elect of the children of Israel. That's a so called Negro, the Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Okay, so that's why you've got to ask yourself do you believe? Do you really believe it? Because you can't, there ain't no BS going on around here. There's no two ways about it. Let's get into some scriptures, okay? Let's get into some scriptures right here. Because this is a beautiful thing. When you first wake up to the truth, um, of course, you know, like when you first wake up to the truth, wow, well, yeah, we the Israelite, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now what? Are you gonna, are you, are you, many are called few are chosen. Are you, are you, are you chosen? Uh-huh. Are you gonna repent to the one true living God? Or are you gonna be like half and half? Are you gonna do things your own way? You're gonna lean on your own understanding? Or are you going to be sitting over here trying to teach the word in, in the comfort of your own home but never go out in the highways and hedges? Are you, are you really, do you have the 100% truth doctrine? Because uh, there's only one body. And now I can't, you know, because when I first came into the truth, uh, that was narrated SC. Kept hammering, hammering it in my head. Stick the great millstone, stick the great millstone, stick the great millstone with the 100% truth. Why would you go somewhere else? All right, because the, the other people come up with the, all these different wayward doctrines. That's not a hundred part of the hundred percent truth. You know what I'm saying? They're going off, man. They're not on the highways and hedges. They're not proclaiming. They're not preaching against this wicked kingdom. You know, they're just going. And we've said it many times. That's why we rebuked all these, all these other groups and, and stuff, man. They're doing wrong, man. It's not right, man. All right. That's why we have to defend the gospel. So let's let's get into some scriptures, man. This uh, we're gonna go to the book of uh, Second Address. Okay, chapter 6, verse 28 first, real quick. Okay, as, as for faith, it shall flourish, okay? Faith, real faith. Do you believe this? Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared, man. Okay, that's a powerful scripture. As for faith, it shall flourish. Do you really believe? Or are you going to continue on uh, with with uh, being tossed to and fro? Because even in the in the in the truth that we understand, come to understand, and with the Israelites, there's still like the, like the, like the like the Lord say, there's still going to be uh, wayward doctrines inside the truth. So that's why there's one body, Great Millstone, period. But then, hey, just like I say, if you really believe it. You would come under that banner, man. You would come over and say, hey, y'all, I, I believe, yeah, great millstone got the truth. The Lord said we should all uh, get together, you know, and let's get together in your mind, man, under one consent, under one accord. So how in the hell would you be way over here doing something? How, how could you be over here uh, saying that you're not a part of the body, but you're over here? You want to still do things your way. So that means you do you really believe it, man, okay? Let's keep it going, y'all. And I, I like once again, I want to thank the Lord. Uh, for putting this fire up on me, put the spirit up on me to bring this epistle out, and also to meet the quota set forth by the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for the three videos a week, man. I'm serious, man. Hey, cause look, I'm trying to do everything I can to make sure you know I'm in good graces with you. How about you, Mal Shy, man? You hear me? She. Anybody got time to be playing out here, man? We talking about salvation here, and we understand. We understand. That is predestined and stuff, but hey, at this particular time, I'm doing everything I can, man, to stay right there, huh? This ain't no easy walk, but I I, I don't want to get kicked out, and I don't want to do nothing to offend, okay? Shoot, I don't want the Lord to take the Holy Spirit away. This is a book of Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. But your iniquities have separated, be separated between you and, and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear, all right? So look, that's why, let's go, that's why, that's why this is happening now. That's why that, all that happened to us. But look, this is the time for repentance, man. So what you gonna do? Are you gonna continue in your iniquities? Huh? 
Or are you going to do it the right way? There's only one way. What the Lord said, there's only one way. You can't come up. Dude, you can't come up through the back door. This is the book of uh, 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent and make supplications unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. You know what I'm saying? You got to get, get your ass down. This is some serious business. This ain't no play play. This ain't no, oh yeah, we all Israelites, let's get together and talk about uh, the white man and shit. No, we're seeking salvation. We're seeking mercy from you. How about Shimei Al Shah in these last days? Before he come back, before he cast judgment on this place, man. This ain't no bullshit, man. So when you find out you was an Israelite, what you, you better go all the way. Why don't you be going somewhere else fucking around, man? Great Millstone been out there declaring we got the 100% truth over here for so long. This is the way. Walk ye in it. Rebuking these other camps. Hey, y'all can't be called on the name Christ. The name, there's one name. People still run around here talking about some Yeshua, Yahweh, Yahuwah. Salaki, not Yahweh. But all these other names. Still, I got a dude at camp. He come, didn't come to my camp for two days, you know, sitting across the street listening. Two, like two or three weeks. I spoke to him the other day. Uh, Yehuda. Still? And I done had this conversation with this dude before. So do you really believe? How many times how, how many times we gotta tell you, man? The Lord's name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. How many times we gotta tell you that his name is not Jehovah? His son's now not no damn Jesus Christ. This is the hundred percent truth of the Bible. What y'all gonna do? Do you really believe this, man? This is what repentance is talking about. This is what repentance is really talking about. Coming back to who you really are. As a people, man. Your heritage. What it really is, man. One body. One understanding. One truth, man. One faith. One spirit. This is the book of 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplications unto thee in the land of them they, that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned, and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. That's right. G-O-C-C. -C. And any other camp out there that's still talking about some, uh, all the, all the other, uh, uh, that's going against scripture. The Lord said he's coming back for the Israelites only. Not no other nations. They're all going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. So do you really believe this? Shit, man. He said in the land of your enemies, not the land of your friends. Right? Which led them away captives and pray unto thee toward their land, which is Israel, Jerusalem, which thou givest unto their fathers, the city which thou had chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's all it is. Okay, look. Uh-huh. Let's go, let's go, let's get this. This is Exodus. Chapter 20, verse 1. And I spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God. I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay? So there's only one name. The Lord's name is Yahweh. You keep calling on another name. You don't really believe it then. Keep on. Keep it up. Because the truth that's been so long without fruit is flourished, man. If you got the truth, why would you settle for a lie? Huh? The Lord said what? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any, make unto thee any griven images or any likeness of anything that is in the heavens above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I the Lord Thy God am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers unto the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. The Lord is saying you you hate him if you continue on. We're telling y'all, hey, this is the truth. This is the name of the Lord right here, man. But you want to keep doing it your way. That means you hate the Lord. We're telling y'all, hey, y'all, no. You know what I'm saying? We can't do the laws to the best of our abilities, but we have to do these things to show that our faith, these are works. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hate the Lord. Okay? Get out of here. Let's go to the book of Acts. Okay? 
chapter 4. Uh huh. Verse 4, verse 12. Where's that? Okay, wait. Let's go to 11. Wait, let's go to 10. So this is Acts chapter 4, verse 10. But it now, but it now, but, but it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom Yahweh raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at not of your of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Okay? Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There's no other name. There's no other name. You get that? That means that's some serious business, man. So if you're going to continue saying Yehuda, Yehuda, you know what I'm saying? Being led astray. That's on you, Jack, because you don't believe it. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. I'm just telling you. I'm just saying, man. We got to bring it out. Uh, the truth. We got to bring out the truth, man. That's that's our job. Get the blood out of our hands, man. Chapter uh, 30, verse 4, right? Y'all know this one. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who has ascended up into heaven or descended? Who has gathered, gathered the wind in his fist? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? What's his son's name? What's his name? His name is Yahweh. What's his son's name? Yahweh Shai. If y'all can tell, but we out here telling y'all. So, man, I didn't mean to bring these uh, things with me. This is the book of Amos, mm -hmm. chapter 3, verse 3. It says, can two walk together except they be agreed? The answer is no. And that's why I used to bicker, bicker with that dude. Why? Because he was a scoffer. He was a non-believer. That's why. We couldn't we couldn't never get together. Why? Because he didn't believe in how about Shimei Al Shai, man. And you know what? That that that, 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 that you know, and that's another thing that I, I'm so thankful for that the Lord uh He He called me, He made me this way, man. Like I was a I was a young babe in the truth, but the things that were coming out of that man's mouth, my heart didn't resonate with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Even early on in the truth. And that's just from listening to the elder and apostle Great Millstone. Still getting, you know, getting the milk, man. I'm still getting the milk. But I'm just saying. Let's go to the book of Job. Wow, okay, almost half. Did I almost have? Okay. Job 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding, man. Okay? So look, you don't want to do, be doing nothing wrong if you if you fear the Lord, if you love the Lord, man. You're going to turn. You want to be afraid, so afraid, so afraid of the Lord. Hey, you believe, you, you, it, it, you know what? It's not up. It's not really up to us, man. Let's go to the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 2. It says, let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 1. Therefore, saying we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, man. So, look, yeah, I might be down, you know, a day here, a day there. Uh, but look. We faint not. I can't give it up, man. But I'm afraid of the Lord. We're commanded to do this shit. Salaki, not shit. We're commanded to come out here and proclaim these words, man. Okay? 
but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua deceitfully, but by manifesting manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. Okay? You know, this, this is big stuff, man. Seeing that we have this ministry, and the Lord has blessed us with it. You know what I'm saying? We just, we don't handle this word deceitfully. So, that and that goes with the fear of the Lord. I'm afraid to bring out something wrong, man. I'll be like checking myself. That's right, right? You know what I'm saying? And if I don't know, I, I don't bring it out. I go study. Under the tutelage of the elders and bosses of the Great Millstone and the big brothers on, you know, on down, man. Okay? That's what these epistles are for. And it's simple as that, man. It's simple like this simple as that. You know? Let's go to the book of, of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Now, and this is what we're talking about right here. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashim Al Shai. Alright? That says a lot because and that Going back to that dude, that's why I uh, thank you, Yahweh Hashim Al Shai, for allowing me to see that video so I could I could use that that, that dude, man. And, and and just put a lot of these things together because uh, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Hashim Al Shai. And that goes right back to what I was saying, man. I just didn't we didn't click. We we're always arguing and bickering until I just said, you know what, dude, you stay the hell away from around me, man. Look, I ain't got time. You know, I just I, you know what? Because what? What's the scripture say? After this, after the first, after the second and third anim, animation, at 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 mon at, at monition, you know, reject that man, saying that he's a heretic. He just he just can't get the truth, man. Can't get it. So look, we keep on telling y'all, hey, the Lord's name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. You still can't get it. That means the truth is not for you, brothers. That's it. That's all. That's what what. Somebody's name is Bobby, but you, you just every time you see him, you want to call him Ricky. He ain't gonna, he gonna be like, hey man, don't 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 even don't even come around me, man. That's not my name. I'm sick of you. You you can't get my name yet. That means you you just don't you ain't feeling me, man. Period. Cause if, you know what I'm saying. Let's go to the book of John, chapter 10, 10 verse verse twenty seven. Mm -hmm. Right. This is the book of John chapter 10 verse 27. The says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. The Lord said, My sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me, man. Okay? Now we're going to uh, slide back over to John chapter 8 verse 44. It says, Ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father ye would do. Alright? So look, if you're not the Lord's sheep, you 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 rolling around with the Antichrist, man. Your father's the devil, cause you 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 don't hear the words, man. You're hand, handling the word deceitfully. You do you're up to something. You're doing something wrong, man. There's only there's only t <sighs> the Lord said He only coming back for the lost twelve tribes of the house of Israel. Okay, the hundred and forty four elect of Israel that is, the hundred and forty four hopefully elect thousand. And the one third of Israel, man. Okay, either one of the you either one of the other. Do you really believe it? Do you really believe it? Because there's some things you must be doing. Okay. Let's go to the book of Matthew. We only got a few more scriptures to go. Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. Another one. It says, for many are called, but few are chosen, right? That's it. Many are called, but few are chosen. And we are hoping to be the chosen, man, not just the one that's called. Okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Yo, know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shimei Shai? It says, be not deceived. 
Neither fornicators nor adulterers, nor idolaters, Salaki, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, man. Alright? It says, be not deceived. Fornicators are idolaters. You want to fornicate with some other doctrines over there? Some wayward doctrines that's not the 100% truth? Huh? You want to mess around with Sakari? That want to carry guns? I saw uh, Mr. of the Kingdom made that up today. Made that epistle up today. You want to go over there with with uh, with IUIC? They call on the name. I'm not even going to say it. GJC. I'm, 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 I don't want to say that false god, false name no more, man. Huh? You want to go with I <laughs> ISUPK, man? Tell me, John the Baptist is not in the truth, or either, or will it be uh, 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 Church of Yahweh Shah 144 that don't understand, that don't want to get down with the Sabbath day? Huh? Talking about the elders, apostles, the great millstone don't don't got the truth no more. Huh? Or you want to go with one body in Yahweh Shai to say the Messiah himself did not perform any miracles? Is that what you want? Do you really believe this, man? Huh? Okay. Well, I've got two more strips to go, y'all. We're going to go to the book of Ecclesiastics in the Apocrypha. And you know where we're going. One of my favorite scriptures, man. Ecclesiastics. In the Apocrypha, also known as Sirach, chapter 17, verse 24. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed them patience. Return unto Yahweh Shem Al Shai and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Okay? It says, turn again. Because you are the Israelites. Now you 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 don't know. You so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You forgot, man. You were destroyed as a people. That's one of the curses that befell you. It says, return again. That's what repentant means. Return, come back again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell. Because this word here is the light, man. It's going to bring you out of that darkness. It's going to make you whole and heal you. I'm not the same person as I was before. Even in that video. Man, I had a fade. I think I just started growing my beard. I, I look ridiculous, man. And hate that abomination vehemently. And those all things were abominations, man. A shaven face. You know what I'm saying? And you saw the dude with dreadlocks. Lord, I don't like that shit. That's the ways of the heathen. Okay? All right. Now let's let's get this last scripture. And we're gonna close it out, brothers and sisters. In the book of Psalms, chapter 143, I believe. All right? Yeah. The book of Psalms chapter 143, verse 10. It says, Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of un upright uprightness. Quicken me, O Yahweh Shema Shai, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul. For I am thy servant, man. I want to give, I um, want to tell the Lord, thank you one more time. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you for this epistle, the bestowing and all my spirit. <sighs> thank you for cast, not casting me away. I want to turn to the east. And give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goes. Shalom Israel.